up beautiful people and today is our second day here in Baco National Park. Yesterday we were super fortunate, we saw the proboscis, proboscis, not quite sure how I'm meant to be saying that, but we saw the proboscis monkeys and it was just incredible, they have like these flappy noses and they only live here in Borneo, so it's super rare to see them and it was just an incredible experience. So today we're walking on the Telok Paku Trail, which is apparently one of the best ones to see the monkeys. Obviously we haven't seen any yet, so I can't say so myself, but fingers crossed that will be the case today. So it's a pretty short trail, only took us about 40 minutes to get here at the beach and no luck so far but we're just going to check out the trees that are surrounding the beach up here and fingers crossed you might see some of the monkeys We're just on our way back to HQ and we've just seen this really cool tree so it's a tree with like spikes all over it like this and we were wondering if they'd been like if the tree had evolved basically so that monkeys couldn't climb on it maybe but even more interestingly we've seen like a hermit crab that's like stuck on one of the spikes up here just here in its shell crab must be drunk And so we are just back by Camp HQ. We've got Camp HQ on one side and the beach on the other. It's not a bad life at all. Going on the trail to the beach this morning was really, really nice. It was so sweaty though, I can't even explain. I was so sweaty and it was still so early. Unfortunately, we didn't see any of the proboscis monkeys. Um, we did see uh, a few langurs like up really high in the trees by the beach but the, the zoom on this camera was definitely not enough to catch it. Uh, Corbin, with his camera, which has like 40 times optical zoom, managed to, to grab a couple of, of shots, which was really cool. But um, yeah, so we came back and I, I don't think we were necessarily disappointed. Obviously we'd have loved to have seen them, but it more made us feel like we were super lucky yesterday to see the proboscis monkeys because we were so close and also we didn't, I think we didn't quite realize just how hard it was going to be to spot them like that was the most that was the the trail that we were most likely to see them on and we still like struggled really today but it was still a great morning and then on the way back we saw some uh, pretty cool wildlife and like, i think that's one of the amazing things here is that you just see so much wildlife even just the little things so you see like crazy dragonflies or you see neon blue crabs it's just that and then the monkeys and everything else that you can possibly see here it just makes it one of the most incredible experiences that you can have but yeah so we we got back to camp hq we were a little disappointed i guess that we we hadn't seen the monkeys but then as we were sitting at hq we saw a few people just around by the the trees and then all of a sudden we realized that there was like three or four provost monkeys like in the in the trees and we spent some time just there like watching them grabbing a few shots and it was just uh, absolutely incredible
seeing these monkeys and seeing them just like sit there and eat and everything it's just one of the most amazing experiences and I'm so glad we got to see them today as well because it it really has rounded off our trip to Baco so well but um, for now we're just gonna sit back at Camp HQ and chill and chat and write in our journals and things like that and then we're gonna get on the boat and head back to Baco village before going back to Kuching. in Kaching. It was a pretty easy journey back. We just got the boat, then got the bus and said goodbye to Andrea and Corbin. Massive thank you once again to those guys for letting me have their shots. It really has made me realise like with this wildlife like photography, videography, you really need a zoom. I, I really want something with more zoom but a, a massive thank you to those guys for letting me have their shots. I really 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 appreciate it and we managed to find sort of like a hotel that was just like a few pounds more expensive per night uh, where we could get double room so Hannah and I have got this double room in this hotel here and my mum's got one as well and it's like for the couple of quid we thought we get AC we can like lock all of our stuff and we don't have to worry about putting things anywhere we even get a nice little riverside view over here we got the river and then just through here we got a nice little bathroom with what looks like a great shower too yes please so we're going to jump in the shower and then probably just head out for a little bit for tonight but after the trekking that we've done uh, yesterday and today I think we're probably going to have another chilled one tonight. Anyway, we will see you in a little bit. And now we are back down by the waterfront here in Kuching, hoping to do a nice sort of like sunset time river cruise. We'll see what we can do. 6.15 next one? Cool. Well, how long is it? One hour, perfect, thank you very much. Okay, so Do we buy tickets in a minute? Yes. Uh, no. Now? Yeah. All right, well, we'll have three adults, please. Thank you very much. See you back here at 6.15. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you all. I think if I started vlogging on this, I think that would be too much. Yeah. Nice to meet you all. Nice. Bye. Oh. So we were just waiting for the boat which was only like 15 minutes or so and some local guys who'd just done some filming somewhere just came over to us and started chatting and it was really great. Anyway now it's time for us to get on the river cruise. Gotta say a big thank you to Beer for Breakfast because I saw on one of their videos they'd got on like this smaller boat that we have now gone and got the ticket for because there are these like huge cruises there's not one around for me to show you where like loads of people go on them but this one's a bit kind of like smaller and you're basically I think it feels a bit nicer and it's also a lot cheaper which is good anyway we're gonna head down and onto that now hey terima kasih this looks nice so nice we're just coming back into sort of like the hub of Kaching and it's all lit up because the sun's just set and it's just like lights everywhere it's so nice and this one right here that's the bigger more expensive one that I was talking about Thank you. 
，我都不怕滑，你知道吗？Terima kasih. Ya, sama-sama. Terima kasih. Sama-sama. That was good. You enjoy it, girls? Ah, uh, so relaxing. Really enjoyable. What a couple of days they were. Baco National Park was an absolute treat. It was a pleasure to meet Andrea and Corbin and their cameras did absolute bits. They were so good. I'm so pleased with the footage and so thankful that they've let me use it for these vlogs and everything. And getting back to Kaching, managing to check into this really nice hotel that's also on such a good deal for us. has just been incredible. Going out on the sunset cruise like the icing on the cake because we were all a bit tired but we could just like sit down enjoy the views and just relax basically a massive thank you to beer for breakfast for a getting me excited before i came to borneo because i saw their vlogs for those of you who don't know beer for breakfast are a duo of vloggers on youtube and they make great videos mostly based like around malaysia at the moment and yeah definitely check them out if you haven't already. We're super tired now. We've managed to sort of explode our stuff. Considering we only have two backpacks, it it actually does end up being a lot of stuff. Here's a, here's a Hannah writing her journal. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it, but it's been an incredible, incredible couple of days at Baco National Park, out of this world, and the proboscis monkeys, seeing them both days was something very special but I'm gonna finish this one up here thank you so much for watching big love it feels good around here